year ago, Michael Schultz and Grant Fink were lending a heavy hand in the greatest baseball season in school history. Now, they're spending their spring in warmer climates. Welcome back. Spring training is underway for the big league ball clubs, and that's where we find this Griffin duo. Yeah, Schultz and Fink are off to chase their dreams, but if you were around Griffin Nation any time in the last 12 months, you'll know they certainly haven't forgotten where they came from. Nearly one year after finishing their college careers, Grant Fink and Michael Schultz still can't seem to leave Missouri Western. We're working with Coach Carbon here. And, Go. You know, he's wh whipping us into shape. And I mean, there's, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. Baseball has already taken the pair so many places. Wouldn't write my path any different. But the real journey is just beginning as the duo prepares for their first spring training. Just an amazing experience altogether. You just gotta show up every day. And you know, play like it's your last day. Schultz, a Lee Summit, Missouri native, from the former Griffin shortstop, 2013 Division II National Player of the Year, and 19th round draft pick of the St. Louis Cardinals. Fink, a Spokane, Washington native, former Griffin third baseman, Missouri Western single season home run king, and 23rd round draft pick of the Cleveland Indians. They spent the summer of 2013 in low A ball. They will spend this spring with the big clubs as both begin their climb through their respective farm systems. They, you know, they place you where they see fit. You just gotta outwork the next guy. But hard work doesn't always pay off in the game of baseball. Research shows only 11% of late round draft picks ever make the majors. But coming from Division II, the Griffin duo already knows a thing or two about defying the odds. Fink got few Division I looks out of junior college. Schultz quit the game after his freshman year of junior college and thought his baseball career was finished. That's before friend and former Little League teammate Spencer Shockley convinced him to try Missouri Western. I'm definitely starting to realize that you know, I'm living my dream and you know, I had a kind of a weird college career. You know, quitting baseball for a year and, and coming back and whatnot. But, uh, no, it's de I'm definitely living my dream. I get to you know, show up to the park and play baseball and get a paycheck. I've always said that the day I quit playing baseball is the day they ripped the police off my feet, which is a lot of people say that, but it's the truth to me. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to quit. I'll go at it until they literally tell me you're done. You know, I'll probably go play independent ball somewhere. So you know, I'm just going to just going to keep pursuing it as long as I possibly can. And as long as there's dreams to be chased and baseball to be played, the duo vows to try to make this off-season regiment a yearly tradition at the place that helped them find themselves on the diamond. I tell all my friends, you know, and how much I, I enjoyed my, my time here. I'll never forget the people here that were a part of it and had an influence on my life. 